Welcome everyone, welcome to another preview. This is Metal Canyon and we'll be checking out an early access game by Hungry Couch Games called Black Skylands. A pixel action RPG I would call it, uh, with very nice graphics, personally, and quite intriguing play. Uh, imagine Waterworld, if you've ever seen it, but in the skies. Because the story is, Earth got shattered thousands of years ago by some sort of cataclysm, and it got shattered into floating islands, so everyone lives on floating islands and or ships, which float. But now there's a new threat, another apocalypse, and that's the swarm. So, let's resume the game from uh, where I left off so I can show you a little bit about what's going on here. So you play as Eva, or Eva, well, Eva probably, and um, you're the daughter of a scientist who's, uh, who's brought back one of the swar swarm things, and apparently that's caused the, well, probably the cataclysm to speed up, I suppose. So anyway, because this is an RPG, well, first of all, let's talk about the graphics, shall we? I do like me some really nice pixel graphics. I really enjoy that. Um, and yeah, in the meantime, I'm just going to do a bit of uh, maintenance here on the base. I really enjoy ni nice pixel graphics, and I have to say that Black Skylands has some very nice ones. Uh, they're nicely drawn. They're nicely animated, and I just enjoy it. I just enjoy it a lot. And if you've noticed, it's not really a top-down 2D style. Well, it is mostly, but it's sort of slightly hybrid as well. If you look at these buildings, for example, they move a little bit. Also, these uh, lamps, you can see that they are actually 3D objects. So the game is top-down 2D pixel graphics, but sprinkled with various 3D objects here and there. For example, the ship's aren't really 3D, uh, but, you know, some features and such are in the game, which I think looks pretty darn good, especially when you get to some islands, and, uh, yeah. So anyway, this is the father ship, I believe it's called. Uh, let me see. Oops. Uh, I, I think this is the father ship. Basically, this is the big sky ship on which most of your people or tribe, I suppose, live. And we can zoom out and see the rest of the map. Uh, oh, wow, what's going on here? Kane's Fort, okay. Uh, so Kane is one of the bad guys, sort of. Uh, because this is like a cataclysm going on here, this Kane guy has now taken over many, many things. And, uh, yeah. They've also bombarded our father ship here. Which means that, well, most of the stuff got destroyed, uh, lots of people got killed. So, one of the things you have to do in the game is bring back resources and then clear the debris, like so. It doesn't really cost you anything but a little bit of time to uh, clear this stuff. And then you can put in new buildings. Uh, for example, I already have two gardens over here. I've got an armory down here, and over here I've got a smelter. But I cannot really process any of my ores that I've gotten because I don't have any asteroid coal. And I don't really know where to get it right now. I'm sure that's going to be revealed soon. So anyway, you can see that I've planted some stuff over here. Some of the stuff, like cabbage, you can just straight up sell to the shops uh, for right. money. Uh, I would like to buy something. Let's see if we can sell it resources. Yeah, I can sell some fish. Yep, there's fishing as well, but it's actually kind of cool. Uh, I will show you that. I don't want to sell anything else over here, because you can sell it. Wood, for example, but this is used for uh, crafting. Used to craft new items, so you know, I don't really necessarily want to sell that. Uh, that's fine. So, that's one big part of the game, uh, building up and restoring your old base. Uh, this is our home here as well. I'm not really sure why these tutorial things are still popping up here. Um, and yes, these crates that I'm destroying, they give you these little gems. I think they're called oil. They're basically the currency of the game. And you also have a storehouse here where you can uh, switch over from the ship. Oh, why do I still have that? Uh, let's move that to the store. Copper ore gears. Okay, that's that's pretty good. And a canister of fuel. Uh, yeah, but the nice thing about this is some of these islands 
over here do have these warehouses as well so for example this one has a warehouse i think that's actually considered i oh, know that's a shop okay uh yeah but the cool thing is it doesn't matter where you store this stuff this is shared on all the maps uh, i mean all the islands so if you really need something you can store it in the warehouse and then pick it up on some other island if you're lucky enough that there is a store over there so this is our ship this is another part of the gameplay uh this is our ship that's uh well that you basically take uh use to to fly around with let me see uh well let's let's leave for now so right now in the bottom oh here in the bottom right we've got green which is our health and then we've got fuel below that we've also got two repair kits which is above the health and 132 uh ammo for our for our cannons so the whole idea of the game right now is to well to do the main missions the main mission is to get over there and find someone find Aaron yeah we're ne we need to find Aaron over here uh, but while we do that this isn't really timed which is nice you can see all these red islands uh, this means that these red islands are occupied by the falconers I believe so if we go to this place for example there's a even a quest there uh, we'll be able to kill 29 of them here and liberate this place I've already liberated glutton island broken stairs and mills island and if you see this gives us 10 population here eight here four here which basically means population in this game is sort of used as um, permanent upgrades and permanent I mean if you keep the population oh, wow. What is that ship over there? Oh, it's a fuel station. Okay. So basically, let me let me just slow down because this engine is quite loud. In fact, let's go to audio and reduce the uh, this. All right. So my equipment, for example, I've got three guns at the moment. Well, you can uh, uh, equip up to three guns, and you've got a chest, a uh, foot, and belt. Uh, items that you can also equip and of course you make all of this usually yourself and the cool thing is not only can you make various different guns you can also equip uh, modifications to them so for example I've got a barrel here equipped which is an AR bell a barrel which increases the rate of fire and I have an AR magazine which increases my magazine by five or I can do this one which uh, decreases reload time but I'd rather have more ammunition in my stuff the ammunition is pretty easy to get uh, usually there's you know places where you can replenish them especially on the, the home ship uh, but if not well you've got three three of these um, different weapons that you can rely on actually I believe the pistol is unlimited and here's some oil we can just pick up we can just crash into it there we go so now I'm actually going to stop here and get this repair thing. I don't know if these are abandoned or what, but you can use your uh, you can use your grappling hook, which is an extremely valuable tool here, to go from ship to ship, from island to island, and such. And it's it's pretty nice. Oh, here's fishing as well. I can show you some fishing for those of you who love fishing in these games. Are we already at those? Uh, yeah, this is already wind, Windy River. Okay, let's go fishing. These guys will start firing on us if we get too close. All right, so basically, it's a... Uh, one of those... Well, sort of Simon Says, I guess, but what are those uh, DDR-type things? <laughs> I don't know. I don't really play those. But yeah, fishing is pretty simple. Now, the cool thing is, I can either get off my ship and kill those two, or we can just use our turrets. Now the turrets, uh, you move with your scroll wheel, which is a little bit confusing maybe, and then left click will fire the left turrets, and right click will fire the right turrets. So these guys are still not aware of me. Now they are. There we go. And of course, using the turrets uh, also moves your ship because they're too because they're pretty big and uh, powerful. I'm just joking. These are the beginning ones. <laughs> So the cool thing ab about the uh, grappling hook is that oh, I can carry the pool table. I don't really know if this serves any purpose back home, but I'm going to take it with me. Why not? Uh, you can either use a melee attack to, to destroy stuff like this, or you can use the grappling hook. And uh, yeah, it's pretty handy, and I like it. 
Alright, so I think we're, we're gonna have to go up here to actually get to this. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Let me see. No, the pistol is not unlimited. Okay, never mind. Let's see, there we go. Some more people will, over here we can just take care of like this. No. Probably not the best idea. Oh, shoot, we're getting attacked there as well. It's not good. I love the sound effects. You've probably already gathered that, that the sound effects are pretty darn awesome. This guy would be easiest to just destroy with my uh, cannons, but... I don't want to go to the ship because it's going to do more damage. And this guy is not really used... I mean, is not really good for trying to kill me like this. There we go. He's more uh, aimed at ship-to-ship -ship combat. Wow, I didn't know there was a little secret area here. But yeah, they did damage us, for example. So I'm going to hold V. And that will heal us almost completely. And let's see the status of our ship. Yeah, we're, we're losing, we're missing a bit of uh, health. So I'm going to use one of the repair kits. I only have two left. Yeah, that doesn't actually heal that much, to be completely honest. Uh, let's do that. Low repair kits. Yeah, I've got only one. There we go. But now we're full on health. And yeah, that wasn't very good uh, fighting for me there. You can also stealth. There, there's a rudimentary form of stealth. Oh, there's an upgrade thing here. Uh, the stealth basically means that if they don't spot you, obviously, you can use the grappling hook on their backs and pretty much instantly kill them. I don't know if you can instantly kill some of the harder enemies. Probably not. But we're going to find out. Now, while we're doing this... One of the things that I kind of don't like about the game... Oh, wow, this... Oh, 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 that's not good. We're actually being pushed! Okay, that's uh, interesting. I haven't seen this mechanic in the game yet. If you crash into obstacles, by the way, you do get damaged, obviously. There's two ships here. But no one there, so I'm gonna go park myself here. Hello. Yeah, one of the things that I don't like is while we're doing this, any of these islands that we've already liberated can get attacked by bandits, or basically these falconers. And you have 15 minutes to go and respond. And usually if you don't respond, the island can fall back under... I believe they fall under uh, falconer. I've never actually lost an island yet. But what I wanted to say is, while it does present more of a challenge, it's very annoying when, for example, Glutton Island last time got attacked when I was all the way up here in Big Water Island trying to uh, get to my destination over here uh, for the main quest. So suddenly I had to pack up, fly all the way through this, back, 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 um, back down here to Glutton Island. And this might not seem a lot, but it's actually a fairly long way. Uh, and the problem is... The first time when Mills Island got attacked, there was about, I don't know, 20 bandits there. So it was a good fight. But when I got to Glutton Island to defend it, there were literally two bandits there. So, it was, you know, it's basically just wasting your time needlessly, I feel. I got no money there. I mean, no. Can I? There we go. I'm going to try to show you a little bit of stealth here. Let's see if I can find someone somewhere. No bandits here yet. Hmm. And yes, I also wanted to say before, I love the sound effects. They are so crisp, so nice. There's so many nice ones for pretty much everything you do. For mining, for reloading, for destroying stuff, for picking up those little yummy, jemmy, gem crystals, whatever they are. The oil thing. Uh, I really, really enjoy that. I think sound and music are... Some uh, really, really important things in games, I feel. And uh, this game nails it. And I also think it really nails the whole... Okay, where is everyone? Am I in the right place? Yes, I am. There's 25 of these guys here. Where are they all? This is kind of creepy. Oh, yeah, we're, we're picking up a lot of this stuff. It's very satisfying to destroy it, as you've probably noticed. There's an explosive barrel here, which... Explodes very quickly, so usually 
it's not worth using unless you're uh oh yeah i should have used the grappling hook here uh yeah where is it going? so if you use a grappling hook on those glowing crystal things it destroys them immediately which is very nice ah full there we go so now i've got uh i've got more ammunition i'm gonna bring this harvest ore uh, harvest ore. i'm gonna bring this iron ore back and yes you can fall off cliffs you, you can fall off the edges. However, the game is fairly lenient about that. First of all, if you do uh, kind of find yourself falling off, you can... Okay, you can't roll. But you can roll before uh, falling off. And even if you start falling down, you don't, st you don't start losing health or die instantly. Uh, you have a bit of time when you can still use the grappling hook to actually grapple back up onto the ground. So I think that's a pretty nice, nice touch. It does present a bit of a danger, but it's not, you know, it's not a huge deal. There's also these little things you can gather, which gives you temporary boosts, like increases damage to Falcons for 90 seconds. So right now I'm going to try and find them. Where are they? Oh. Who's there? Answer quickly. I hope you're not a Kane's Falcon. Praise the sky. I thought my days were numbered. My name's Harold, and I'm an engineer. You see, I flew from Guntown to Turtletown, but I'm blind, so I have no idea where I am now. And I heard the Falcons just minutes ago. Be careful. They're probably still here. Ah, okay, there they are. Oh, geez, that's a lot of them. So now, I think stealth is not really going to be an option. We still have our buff, which is gonna increase... Yeah, 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 which is gonna increase our damage. Oh, I thought I had the shotgun equipped. Which is gonna be very handy. Extremely handy for killing these. So yeah, you'll just have to believe, believe me that... Um, these are annoying because they dodge. You'll have to believe me that uh, stealth works. It's actually quite satisfying when it works. I mean, when you manage it. But it is quite tricky. I should probably heal up. Oh, I don't have any healing stuff anymore. That's not good. Let's gather this. What, what will this give us? Health to regeneration. That's perfect. And there's some iron ore. Probably not the best time to be doing this. Okay. Any more here? Yep. Yeah. There's one. Oh, oh. Snipers. There we go. Lovely. Uh, one of the things I wanted to mention is sometimes it's a little bit difficult to see where you're... Uh, where you're pointing your stuff at, especially when there's a lot of things going on. Ah, crap. I really wanted to show you. Here. Boom! Nice. I really wanted to show you, uh, stealth. But I suppose not. And yes, it can become a bullet hell. <laughs> but the game looks great. Oh, yeah, this is one of the things I hate. Uh, your hard earned cash, pretty much, that you get from killing these guys, it disappears after a very short time. So if you're trying to, if you're trying to kill stuff, you know, and if you're killing lots of stuff, you cannot come back to, uh, to pick all the, the, all the items up. And it's very annoying that the game punishes you for that by simply making it disappear. I really wish it wouldn't, but oh well. Because it means you cannot really take your time with this stuff. You have to hurry. But I do have to say the combat is, ooh, the combat is very visceral. It can be very chaotic and very awesome. Now, these are just normal enemies. These are normal... Hu oh, I'm out. These are... Ow. Ow. Oh, yeah, I still have... No, I don't have a generation anymore. These are just normal enemies with guns. Uh, there's also some more powerful ones here and there. I think they... Yeah, yeah. Oh, these are... Not nice. Oh, this guy has a shield, so I'm gonna try to shoot him when he drops his shield. Like so. Okay. I gotta be careful because those other guys are coming. Oh, come on, come on. One more. Okay, that was okay. Ouch. Uh try getting another explosive barrel come on so yeah the these ones are obviously uh ooh, i'm gonna die oh yeah one of them has a shield as well that's not good let's try 
putting this barrel here. Okay, come on. Hey, ow! Was I hit as well? I don't know. Come on. If I kill them... Ooh, excellent, excellent. Let's heal up quickly. I don't know where the other guy is. Lovely. Uh, if I kill them with a melee attack, uh, I actually get some ammunition in return. Let's see. Okay, so you can see that this... Uh, these harder enemies, you cannot kill them stealthily in one shot, unfortunately. Out. Oh, I'm out. It's not very good. I'm out of almost everything. Come on. But it is... Hot combat is very satisfying, I do have to say. It is very, very satisfying. There we go. Talk to Harold. So we've actually done it. Killed all of them. They set up an ambush. Sorry, I'm blind and apparently became a good bait. They knew that someone would come for me. It's good that you can stand up for yourself. I have a request for you. Take me to Turtle Town. Don't look that I'm blind. I am an excellent engineer and I am collecting incomparable weapons. If you drive me, I'll give you one of my finest creations. Oh yeah, uh, carrying people... Uh, is done in crates. It's explained in the very beginning. It's kind of funny, but oh well. Uh, you might have noticed that the English translation is a little bit wacky. Uh, but I, I actually cannot complain, to be honest. It, it's not really bad enough to detract you from enjoying the game or, or for saying like, what? 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 It's just a little awkwardly written sometimes, or should I say translated? Uh, but really... It's nothing really that bad. You know, I've, I've seen much, much worse English in a lot of games. So this is completely fine. So this is basically what we do. Uh, there's still two enemies, however, here. That was just that quest. There's still two enemies, probably on the outskirts of this island. Let me see, is there anything else I have not picked up here? I don't think so. I'm just going to heal up for now. You have also might have noticed this moth with us. That's... He helps us if we get stuck, and he helps us if we get downed. And, oh, wow, there's a lot of little asteroids here. What happens? Can I destroy them? No. But yeah, the combat, both air combat as well as normal on foot combat, is so satisfying. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jeez. Okay. There's another quest there to the left, and I think there's only one person there. Oh, wow. That's cool. Oh, hello. Okay, fine. You obviously have to have ammunition in your, uh, in your, uh, turrets, and they cannot be overheated. If you shoot over and over and over, they will overheat, and they will need an extensive amount of time to cool down. So keep that in mind. Okay, let me just try to liberate this, this island. Yeah, there's two of them here. I think that's perfect. Okay, that's not where we're supposed to go. We cannot go over this thing. There's also stationary turrets, by the way. I'm just gonna finish off these guys like that. And now that should be it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we didn't get there. There are no more enemies here. This island can now be considered defended. Now, she usually puts down a flag, but usually when you do this, you're on foot. And you get a little uh, little animation, there we go, of uh, of some fireworks. And let me get that before it goes away, there we go. Was it, is that a chainsaw? Certain explorers claim that in the far south, one can find the remains of a massive clay moth statue dating back to the era of ashes. But then those explorers will make up anything for a little fame, won't they? Like the whole great historic encyclopedia, for example. Uh, well, let me... Oh, geez, that's not, that's not good. I was about to fall down there. Anyway, so now we've liberated this place, and we've got six more people. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Because you get these uh, populations here, these are used for uh, permanent modifications or upgrades. I cannot show you this here. We have to go back. Now, in order to go back, we can either fly there, or we can pay a little bit of money to just return for 112. It seems like it's increasing in... Hmm. Alright, so we can take uh, 
We can put all of this stuff back here. And we can take the mod box. And put it into the mod box thingy. This is how you get various upgrades for your weapons. We don't know what we get. Another barrel. So, if we go to our equipment. Let's modify it. We get a different barrel, which... Oh, piercing shot targets. Pierce damage reduction. Huh. Okay. Well, let's try this then. Interesting. So instead of the rate of fire. Interesting. Okay. Uh, so what I wanted to say is if we go down here to our armory. We can craft various stuff, but we can also craft upgrades. For example, right now I have backstabs enabled. You will be able to deal huge damage to enemies by hitting them with a hook in the back. Uh, this requires 10 people. So, for example, if I want a flashlight, this requires 5 people. So, if you lose an island, uh, one of the upgrades will simply stop working. But you can get them back. This, you know, it doesn't cost anything except actually holding the population. Hook damage. One and a half times. Hmm. What does this actually do? I don't know what the flashlight... I mean, it's obviously a flashlight, but... Luma energy times 2. So what, what, what does the flashlight do? We can also craft more armor, uh, weapon mods. But of course, all of this, you know, costs copper ingots and such, which I don't have right now. I need to find those... Uh, hmm, sniper rifle. I need to find those... Oh yeah, there we go. Not really sure that's required. Uh, I need those asteroid chunks or whatever they are. But you know, this is, this is how the game works. This is basically what you do uh, and what i wanted to say also was that we're fighting just normal enemies right now but of course very soon probably you start fighting uh the swarm which i think is gonna be pretty awesome and you know discovering mysteries and such so i have to say i love this little game i'm usually not someone that will play games like this i also forgot to show you the skyship which also has upgradable stuff uh most of it you can also change skyships i haven't found any yet but you know this is this is pretty awesome and extensive and like i said i love the graphics i love the sound effects i love how it plays it, it it's very crisp it's very nice and also here one of these ammo things you can replenish that you can replenish your uh med kits as well uh, well, there we go. We're, we're full up now and we can go adventuring again. And we can also sell some of the stuff here that we've uh, found. For example, he's not going to buy any of this. But we can sell him a fish that we've caught. There we go. Lovely. Alright. So yeah, I really do. If you like the look of this, if you like games like these, I really, really do recommend them. You can even take these uh, turrets, by the way. I'm assuming... Oh, oh, oh. oh, I thought I dropped it. Um, yeah, I, I... I don't... I think you can actually put it in your hold and then take it on expeditions with you and they will fire, but of course they also get destroyed quickly. Um, yeah, if you like the look of this game, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Uh, if you like top-down shooter games like this, like I said, it looks beautiful, it sounds great, it plays very nicely, uh, and... I'm just surprised that I'm actually enjoying it as much as I do because, like I said, I don't usually play games like these. <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed this little preview and uh, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.